Now, where'd you meet Tupac, man? Um, it's crazy because I met Tupac through Jack. Right. Jack had a barber shop on Two Seventeenth and Linden in Queens, which was next door to a comedy club called uh, Manhattan Proper that they right. did every Tuesday. So, we'd be in the barber shop. Long after they stopped cutting hair, drinking champagne every night, especially if it was a Tuesday, and then we'll go next door to Manhattan proper. So one night you come to the barbershop, he's in there with Madonna. Right. Jack always had a knack for celebrity. They loved right. him. Right. Another night it was Shaba. Shaba ranks. Another night it was the dude that Kane stomped out in Minister Society. Actor. Yeah. Right. Um, anybody he saw gravitated to him. So we in the barber shop, and uh, he comes in with Tupac. Now me and Jack always argue back and forth. Yeah, you guys had a weird relationship all the time, right? man. About like because, what? Because Jack always tried to treat me like a little brother, right? But I wasn't really good with his decision making in life, so. Right. To respect, like I had older dudes around me that I was rocking with, you know what I mean? And Jack's a loud person, you know, yo, and uh. So when he brought Pac around, he's like, yo, Pac, listen, you don't listen. And I'm like, so I should listen to you. Because this guy listens to you. Yeah, like, nah, I'm right. good. Right. So when I saw them together, it, it was crazy. Tupac is smoking weed. Jack don't like weed. Right. Tupac's listening to Spice One. Jack don't even like rap. Right. So I saw both of them together, and it was just like, all right, they're both trying to prove themselves to each other. Mm. Yo, tell us about this whole situation, man. Like, like how you got with Tupac to, to record this record, and then what happened that night, man? Well, one night, um, me and Jack was at the barbershop, and very rarely was he and I alone together. We always had a liaison, like a buffer, you know what I'm saying, that, that kind of kept the peace. You know, we never got physical, you know what I'm saying, but we always argued, right. stated out. We never agreed on much, right? I've always been my own man, but I had certain people that I had a lot of respect for, their opinions. Me and Jack was cool, you know. It's a lineage thing. So one night we at the barbershop early evening in Queens and he's like, uh, I want you to come with me to pick up Tupac. I don't want to go, but I want to go because I want to see the two of them mesh together. Right. Right. So I left my car parked in front of the barbershop, jumped in his 850 and uh, we rode through the Midtown Tunnel to the Park of Meridian. I got in the back. You know how small the back of an 850 is, man? It's tiny. Tupac is coming out the hotel. i never been so scared in my life. Of what? Yeah, because I'm like, listen, if I'm going to jail, man, I got to go on my own merit. Right? Tupac comes out the hotel. Gets in the car. Don't even know I'm in the back. Got his gun on him. Takes his gun out. I'm going, oh, man. Like, this is Reckless. not even. Yeah, I can't even open a door. I can't get out unless somebody in front gets out. Right. Ziploc bag of weed. Spice one tape. I know Jack got a gun on him. I'm in the back going, yo, please let me make it back <laughs> through this Midtown. Right, right, to right, my right. car in one piece. Right. I'm praying. Jack drove off maybe a block and a half and then say, yo, Pac, that's Sean, Sean, Pac. He turned around. Yo, what's up, man? And it was like I wasn't there. Right. He's blasting Spice One. I know Jack don't want to hear that shit. But he's not contesting. He's, and I'm sitting he's there going, going, yo, where am I? Right. <laughs> right? So. This is New York or this Cali? So I got my fingers crossed. To get back to my car. Get back to the car. He's like, yo, Jack says, uh, yo, we gonna go 
think it was a chick named Lisa had a restaurant in Long Island. He said, we're going to go to Lisa's restaurant to eat. And then we're going to go out to the city, go pick up scoots, man, and, 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 and meet us. It's like, all right, <laughs> no doubt. Right, right. Nice meeting you, Pop. Cool. <laughs> Yo, I got in my car and tore ass up Springfield, right? <laughs> And I called school. And I'm like, yo, where you at? He said, my, my mom's crazy. So I'm coming over. I get over there. He's getting dressed. Yo. So Jack called me. He said, I said, dude, I just got to tell you what just happened. We pull up to the park of Meridian. I'm in the back of the 850. And Pop comes out the hotel, gets in the car, takes his gun out, Ziploc bag of weed, Jack. And he puts twice one in. School's like, who the fuck is Spice One? I said, it's West Coast rapper, man. Listen. But you know Jack don't like rap. Jack don't even like the smell of weed. So Tupac smoking weed out the window. They going through the Midtown Tunnel, man. We passed the toll booth and he paid the toll. He's smoking weed. We got guns in the car. Yo, I was scared. I want to get the fuck out this car. These two crazy niggas <laughs> impressing each other. I said, yo, dude, you can't hang out with them. Right, right. So Scoots is like, nah, we going to Nels. Mm. I said, nah, I'm not going nowhere around them niggas. Right. I'm not getting back around them niggas. And you not going either. Nah, we going, dude. Get somebody else to drive. I'm not going back around them niggas. So now, we used to sit in the crib and watch New York One. And the news repeats every five minutes. Yep. Unless something new happens, breaking news, and we drink it more at. And we get the call. That was the night they got locked up for the rape. So going back to the situation, man, how do you get this situation where you're about to record with Tupac? So, uh... You're talking then, about you were on uptown. Right. So then after that, Andre had New York Undercover. Right. A lot so. of people didn't know that was his. Yes. So it was him and Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. Right. So Andre was really breaking into Hollywood, right, with uh, the Boomerang movie. And, you know, so he was transitioning into that. So Jimmy knew that I didn't really want to make records anymore and my heart wasn't in it. So Jimmy was like, nah. I'm going to get my mark in this industry and I'm going to make this little idiot a star. Right. So he went behind my back and went to Andre and said, yo, you know, Tupac wants to do a record with Sean. Mm. Andre wanted Tupac to be on New York undercover. As an actor. So all this shit was going on behind me. Right. So I'm telling Jimmy before that, don't tell, don't mention Tupac to Andre because Andre is going to try to make me do a joint with him. Right. But again, everybody had their own ulterior motive. Right. Andre wasn't thinking about me doing a record with Pac to break me. Andre was thinking about getting Pac on New York undercover. And this is a great way to break bread with him. Right. So now if you give Tupac a job on this TV show and it was a hit TV show at the time, you'll put money in his pocket and Pac didn't really have no bread like that. Right. So above the rent, I think he got 15 grand right. to do that. But, uh, Damn. yeah. So at the time, yo dude, it was, you know, everybody wasn't eating like that. Right, of course. So, uh, Andre called me in for a meeting and he was like, yo man, I heard Tupac want to do a record with you. And I'm, where'd you get that from? He said, Jimmy told me, I'm like, I never heard that. Right. So Andre, Jimmy set up meeting up with Pac and Andre about New York Undercover. So now I get a phone call from somebody at the label saying I had a session to record with Pac. Bryce Wilson was producing it. Mm, from Groove Theory. Yeah. Now, who was another one of Jimmy's producers. Right, exactly. right. Now, I got to show up. I don't want to go. Right. But you, Because but it wasn't about me. It wasn't about me. It was about Jimmy. It was about Andre. More about Andre. It was about, right. You know, so I got to go, you know, because, and at the time, in a record company, you could get away with getting your living expense, your living advance. So right. I was getting three grand a month for nothing. Right. Right. So I'm going, man, this guy, man, if I don't show up, they're going to, come on, this is. Tupac was still a big star. Right. Right? I wasn't no big star, nor did I give a damn. At the t just give me my money. Right. right. So if I don't show up, 
that might jeopardize my check every month. You know what I'm saying? Freeze my budget. Yo, man. So I call Howie. I'm like, yo, man, I don't want to drive to the city. I got to find a way to get out of this. You got to come with me to this session. So I bought Howie and my man. Right. Went to the studio. Yo. We up there. Big is upstairs recording with Junior Mafia. All of a sudden, Puff shows up. And now my studio session, which is normally empty, or with my dudes, my own personal friends rolling dice and drinking, is full of the Uptown staff, Uptown, right. Puffy. It's crowded like a party. I'm pissed. The shit just was some phony shit. And it wasn't about me. Right. You know, so, you know, I, I'm i like, if it ain't about me, that's fine. I don't want it to be about me. So we there. Hours. You knew what kind of record you was going to record? No. Okay. I heard the track. I hated it. Who, who produced the track? Bryce. Bryce. Okay, that's right. I, I never heard it before. Right. I'm a dude, I like to write before I go to the studio because right. I don't want to waste no time. So, when so I this walk, is a force thing, man. <laughs> yeah, so right. when I walk in the studio, I'm going straight to cut my vocals and I'm leaving. Right. You know, the, it's my budget. You and, know, and, and this is pissing you off also. Oh, this, I'm hot. It's, it's a party now right. on so, your budget. So no pock. Right. Hours. Hours. I want to leave. I can't leave, right? So I'm stuck. Jimmy shows up. Like, yo, dude, what's up with your man, yo? So now I'm like, I'm taking a little personal now, right? Where I didn't want to be there in the first place, right? Andre's not going to no sessions, man. Yeah, you ain't go platinum, Andre's not showing up. Right. Andre shows up. I'm like, yo, man, this shit was a circus, right? So now somebody calls upstairs. They just said Tupac got shot downstairs in the lobby. Yo, when I tell you I went crazy, I just started throwing shit in the studio. I'm like, yo, all these motherfuckers in this, what the fuck are all of y'all doing here in the first place? Right. Y'all was coming here to see a Tupac sighting. Mm. Get the fuck out! So now the cops locked down the floor right. and the building. So you couldn't leave. Right? So now, elevator opens, pop. And he's like, yo. And I'm like, oh, shit. This motherfucker really got shot. He got shot. You see the blood. Yeah, so his man Stretch is helping him. I, right. I know Stretch from Queens, God right. bless the dead. So I go get his other side, and we help him to the couch. But he can't sit down because he was hit here. Right. So he goes to sit down, area. he screamed, and he was like, yo, the fuck? Right? So now I'm looking around, I'm like, yo, man. What the fuck is going on? Why am I here? Right. So now my whole thing is if something like that happens on your watch, right? It's like if I bring you to my house or I tell you, come to my crib and the niggas on my block rob you. I got a problem with the niggas on my block right. because you are there for me. Exactly. That's a disrespect to you. Right. Right. So me... Being in the street, period, whether actively or non-actively at the time, I'm sitting going, shit, that could have been me. Right. Not thinking it, thinking it was yeah. random. Who the fuck shot this dude? Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So now, cops flood the floor. Paramedics come. They take Pac out. And what's Pac saying, man? Um... First, he was like, yo, told his man, yo, roll me some weed. Then he told another dude, yo, call my mother. You know, but, you know, not, you can't look at it like somebody said, yo, call my mama. We talking about a Feeney Shakur. Right. Call my mom's the ex-Panther and let her know what happened. Mm. That's how I took that. Right. Like some plan of action. Yeah. You right. understand what I'm saying? So... I'm looking, 
Yo, and I had wigged out on that. So now people in the studio just stand because I'm bugging. Because you're bugging. Right. So he, he had shot. Went, it's, yeah. a, it's a whole different. So when he the went. The whole mood changed. Yeah. When he went in the magazine and he was like, yo, Sean was crying uncontrollably. Right. Nah. But how, how, but everybody, what was everybody else doing? What was Puff doing? Everybody was shot. Right. Like stuck. Right. Andre was kind of cool. And he was like, yo, call the ambulance. You know, Andre was a, a cool, grown man. He's right. A cool so, head. Right. right. It was different. And what was was Jimmy doing, man? Jimmy was stuck too. Like, yo, like, the fuck is going on? Right. So now, when they got Pac in the elevator, he's standing, you know, straight up, right? And the doors are closing, and Pac is like, yo, man, what the fuck? To you? No. To who? To Jimmy. To Jimmy. So Jimmy's like, yo, man, let me talk to you. Right. And Pac is like, yo, man, what the fuck is going on? Doors closed. Everybody made it out that was with Pac in the elevator except one dude who's a little guy. I think they were saying that was his brother in law. If I'm not mistaken, his name was Zane or something like that. I had read in a magazine. So now the detectives are on the floor and they're like talking amongst themselves, but I happen to hear. So they're like, yo. We know Pac's entourage had guns on him. We're going to search the studio. So now the dude that they left behind wasn't from New York. Right. Wherever he was from, he wasn't from New York. Right, right, right. right. Scared to death. This dude. Yeah, whoever he was, like, he could attest to the story too, right, right? Right, right, So I'm pacing back and forth. And I looked at him. I said, yo. Follow me in the back room. Walk right behind me. I said, yo, you um, you dirty? And he didn't say nothing. He just looked. And I searched him. He had a hand on him. So come with me in the live room. Had a piano. I said, yo, give me that. Took his hand off his hip. Put it in the piano. Mm. I said, when y'all come back here, it's in the piano. Right. The only people know that is me and you. Right. He was like, yo, man, thanks. I said, all right, no doubt. Cops searched the floor, let everybody go. All right? A time passed. Pac had already accused, started accusing Biggie. Right. Whoever did it, you know it wasn't him. Right. Right. And now, Biggie wasn't that guy anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? That just wasn't him. So we talking, me and Big. And Big is like, yo, man, I can't believe this dude would accuse me of doing that. Me and this nigga was super fucking cool, man. Like, he know I, that's not my style. And before, when Pox first started hanging out with Jack and everybody, Biggie or somebody in his camp had said something to him about it, and Pac went back and told Jack mm. and them. Yeah, and Biggie had got robbed. Right. Biggie got robbed? Of course. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. So so, so he... The same shit that happened in the movie, whether it was Big or whomever, they told Pac... Like, yo, be careful. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really have nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? But still... It's but, your friend telling you. And Pac went back and told them. Told Jack. Yes. And that's when they didn't fuck with Big, Big no more. Big, right. Right? So Big was like, God damn, this nigga just turned, you know. Right. So we talking and Big was like, yo, man, I'm the one that went to the studio and got their hammer the next day. Out, out, the, out the piano? Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's all he said. Right. And I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to tell you where it was at. He said, how the fuck you know? I said, because I put it there. Right. It was in the piano. He said, oh, shit. So, yeah, it was the little guy had it on him. So, if you think about it, right, if you remember, when Pac first went to jail, he did the first interview where he had the frames mm -hmm. on him. He said, thug life is dead. Right. It was all clean. It was the weed. And da -da 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 -da. Right, right, right. Could think clear I'm focused now. right now and when Suge came and put that 1.7 up different story 
different attitude, different act. I was the only person questioned for that. The cops crime. questioned you, right? The only person. Right. In Andre's office. So I was like, all right, I'll let y'all question me. I didn't have nothing to hide. I don't right. give a fuck, right? right? But I already had a case in Midtown North and cases all through, you know, right. Brooklyn. But uh, so we sitting there, Andre's there, and they said to me, so um, we heard you were jealous of him. Mm. And that's why you- Jealous of Tupac. Yeah. Right. That's why you got him wrong. I was like, what? I said, I agreed to sit down with y'all for that? Right. Y'all got me fucked up. Right. I said, yo, man, come back with cuffs. I got up and left. <laughs> the fuck did I, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. We heard. We the fuck you heard that at. Right. And I'm there. I'm. I always kept a lot of jewelry on. Right. Like, huh? And I left them sitting there with Andre. You know what I'm saying? But Big was fucked up behind that. Of course he was. But that whole thing after that, that was all sure. Yeah. It's all orchestrated to sell records. At a crazy price, too. Man. Yo, dude, that contract was written on toilet tissue. Man. When Tupac, before his untimely demise, yo, he fired the death row attorneys. See, a lot of people don't know this story. Man, he was waking up. He was fucked up with them. Because he started looking at Snoop and them. They didn't have shit. Everything was in Shook White name, man. It was being spoon-fed materials. Pac wasn't no dummy. Right. His first manager, Atron Means. Atron, yeah. Older man, wise, smart dude. Okay? Pac wasn't no dummy. So let me ask you something, man. What do you think about years later, man, um, them putting this whole uh, shooting on, on Jimmy Henchman? You know what? You know, and then now Haitian Jack is like, yeah, like recently he just came out and was like, yeah, you know, Jimmy Henchman, like he set that shit up. And, he said that? Yeah. Did he say that? Yep. He said that? Yep. I, I would have to hear him say that. Right. You know, and not, no disrespect. I mean, I, I'll just show you, I'll show you that. I'll oh, show I need you. to see that. Yeah, yeah. But no disrespect to you. Right. Of course not. But that's not the Jack that I knew. Right. You know? But but what do you think about Jimmy carrying that way on this whole Tupac thing, man? What do you mean? Say like it. like 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 the, the Jim part of part of Jimmy's case is that they implicated him on this Tupac shooting. They 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 didn't implicate him on the Tupac shooting. Not in the case. Yeah. No. In in the case, he's holding that. No. You Are you better, sure? You better read the paperwork again. I'll read it again. Go to the smoking gun. Mm -hmm. That wasn't none of the charges. None of the charges. Why? Can't be substantiated. Right? Because anybody that has ever came out or whatever they put out on all hip hop, no, none of those people were put on the stand and questioned. Right. For a jury to hear, wasn't tried. Yeah, but some guy came out and said the henchman paid him. And what happened? You, you follow what I'm saying? No, I hear you. You I see, hear the you. thing is this, right? So you're saying you don't believe all I, at all. And you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because if he ever did that shit at my expense, knowing that I'm going to be there, knowing that I was the only one questioned for that shit, it's a violation. Right. That was 94, man. Right, 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 right. How fucking dare you? That's a problem. Like, that's a problem. Right. So if you had a problem with dude. And you bring it into my house. Yo, my nigga. That's like me, again, bringing you around some people that don't like you. And I'm going, yo, Red, you all right? You with you me? good. And I turn my back right. and you get shot and robbed. It's a violation. Right. I got a problem with, I would have a problem with me before I have a problem with the niggas that actually shot and robbed me. Right. 
You, you follow what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where I'm from, that don't fly. Right. I can't. I don't know Jack to be someone that would do that. I'm not saying he won't. Right. I'm not saying he didn't. Right. I'm saying I don't know that guy. Right. And you don't know Jimmy for being that guy either. No. Right. You know what? Not not towards me. Right. I never had a problem with him. Yeah. You, you keep in touch with Jimmy? No. Okay. Can't. Can't. Right. You know? And it's just sometimes, man, you know, the streets, man, you live and die without actually living and dying. Right. Some relationships got to die. Right. After that whole Tupac incident, I got turned off to the industry. Yeah. And then Big died. And then Big died. I remember hearing you Yo, listen, on the radio. I remember her hearing you on the radio. Let me tell you something. Yeah. When Tupac died, Giorgio Armani threw, two, threw uh, D'Angelo I was Lombardi there. I was at, there. At, and Clark at the armory, Kent. yep. He died that right, night. right before Clark, we got Clark there. Clark announced it. And Angie announced it on the record because we right. was home and Angie, I was getting dressed and Angie announced it. Oh, that thing broke my heart. Right. You know, because in my opinion, my opinion, he didn't have to die. Right. It 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 seemed like a senseless, unnecessary killing of someone that could have propelled his career to a Sydney Portier because mm. he had it. Right. He had it. 